memo, and it reads, Whereas Hiram Hank Williams was born to parents Lon and Lillian Williams in Mount Olive, Alabama, on September 17, 1923, and whereas at an early age, Williams developed a love of music and was soon taught to play guitar by blues musician Rufus T. Tot Payne, who performed on the streets of Greenville and Montgomery. And whereas, after winning a Montgomery talent show at age 13 by performing his self-pinned song, WPA Blues, Williams became a popular performer on local radio and in bars, honky-tonks, and other <laughs> venues throughout Alabama. And whereas, after signing with the Acuff Rose Publishing Firm, Williams, served, er, Williams scored his first national recording hit with Moving On Over in 1947, and later followed with hits that included Your Cheatin' Heart, Jambalaya, Kalijah, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry, My Bucket's Got a Hole in It, Mind Your Own Business, Hey Good Looking, Honky Tonk Blues, Love Sick Blues, You Win Again, I Can't Help It, and other lasting classics in the American Songbook. And whereas Williams was one of the most popular live performers of his time, as evidenced when the audience at his Grand Ole Opry debut demanded an unprecedented six encores before allowing him to leave the stage. And whereas during his career, he scored 41 songs on the Billboard charts and was among the first songwriters to have the songs he penned cross over from the country music charts to the pop music charts. And whereas Williams is one of only 14 performing artists and executives in history to be honored with induction in both the country music and rock and roll halls of fame. And whereas while en route to a New Year's Day concert in Canton, Ohio in 1953, Williams died just outside of Oak Hill, West Virginia in the back of the Cadillac convertible automobile in which he was traveling and whereas following his passing Williams popularity and legend continue to grow while to this day his music has influenced countless performers and artists across multiple genres now therefore be it resolved by the legislature of Alabama both houses thereof concurring that it is recognized that in recognition of the centenary of his birth, September 17th, 2023, is officially proclaimed Hank Williams Day in the state of Alabama, and be it further resolved that the Alabama legislature encourages all citizens on that day to reflect upon the continuing and lasting impact that Hank Williams has had upon popular music, music across the nation and around the globe. Right. Side by side.